Come on into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Shelley and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come on, be a story maker. Story. Night. Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and a magical maestro, at your service. Milton, Milton. Yes, Jackson. Some of the children in the library today were reading about plants, and I was wondering, how do plants grow? Ah, I know how plants grow. They grow when you talk to them, like this. Watch. Hello, planty. Hello, planty. Grow, planty. Grow. <laughs> it isn't doing anything. That's because it's probably tired from all the children speaking to it all day. It's probably mm. having a bit of a sleep. <laughs> Do plants. plants grow from baby plants? They start to grow from one of these. <gasps> it's tiny. What is it? It's called a seed. Wow. Most plants and flowers grow from one of these. <gasps> Could we put it in the machine and make a story? I'd like to read about a seed. <laughs> Very well. Read about a seed. Read about a seed. I wonder if you could oblige me with a bit of imagination to get this machine going. Like this. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. It's a playbook. Oh, I want to read about the seed. Look, Jesse's crest. Jessie couldn't wait to get her shopping home. In her shopping bag, she had a small packet. A packet of seeds, crest seeds. Mum helped her find some paper and a little bowl. They sprinkled water on the paper and made it soggy. Then opened the packet very carefully. <laughs> Jessie sprinkled some seeds onto the paper. She had a look to see if they'd started growing. But they hadn't. So Jessie waited. And waited. And looked. And waited. But nothing happened. Nothing happened later that day. Or that evening. Or even the next morning. Maybe the seeds weren't working. Had she put them in the pot the wrong way? Why weren't they growing? Jessie was never going to plant seeds ever again. Mum waited for Jessie to go and play. Then she carefully placed the cress in a warm cupboard. A couple of days later, she checked to see how they were doing. They had started to sprout. 
so she put them out for Jessie to see. Jessie had forgotten all about the seeds, so she got a great big surprise when she looked in the bowl. They've grown! Jessie was so proud. Can we make some more, Mum? One week later, just look what Jessie and Mum had made. Eggheads! And a big bowl of cress! And even her name! Jessie loves growing cress. A big, bright, warm sun to make the seeds grow. Hmm, seeds grow very slow. Very, very, very slow. This is such a bright sun, I should have bought my sunglasses to wear. <laughs> I look cooler in sunglasses than you. No, you don't. Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Don't. Yes, I do. Don't. No one looks cooler in sunglasses than me. See? Why don't we put Milton's cool <laughs> sunglasses into the story machine? Oh, no, you don't. I think this splendid sun picture will make a much better story. Now, you know what to do, don't you? <laughs> Jackson! <laughs> Too late! <laughs> oh, OK, then. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. Oh, it's a boon story. How cool. <laughs> and it's called Too Hot for Geranium. Here's the kitchen. It's early in the morning. Who lives here? A pan scourer. That's scrub. There's geranium. And pop the toaster. Piece of toast. Wake up, Glug. <laughs> and six wooden spoons. Mr. Spoon and Mrs. Spoon. Thin Sally and Spatula Sam. Auntie Porridge Spurtle. Well, hello there. And of course, Poon. The Poons live here. Good morning, geranium. Have you seen Poon today? No, I haven't. <gasps> I can't find my sunglasses. Who's taken them? Was it Bob? Where? Me? Oh, was it Scrub? Scrub, Scrub, no. Hi there, do I look cool? Oh, very smart, Poon. But I think I shall need them myself today. It's a beautiful sunny day. To up the Scrub, Scrub, Scrub. And for me, I'm going for a swim. Oh, be careful, geranium dear. It's not good for you to sit in the sun for too long. Yeah, you might turn red. Now, now, you two. I'm just going to have a little sunbathe. Can I stay in the sun too? You must play over here in the shady part. Oh. Look, what's the matter with geranium? Oh, she doesn't look well. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Let's loll in. Oh, no. She's too hot. Quick, we must try and shade her. Sam, Poon, bring me that tea towel. Hurry up, you two. Geranium's not well. Look at her. She's wilting. Is she going to be all right? Yeah, but we must cool her down. Poon, you and Sam hold up the shade. Oh, OK. Poon, give her some water. Here, Geranium, this will do the trick. Oh, I hope she's going to be all right. Oh, come oh, on, Geranium. Thank you, Poon. I'll never fall asleep in the sun again. <laughs> Geranium? Yes, Poon? I really like your sunglasses. Ah. Uh, well, I guess that proves something. Oh, what? That plants need water? No that no one looks as cool as me in sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you say so, Milton. <laughs> oh, oh, look, here's another book the children were reading. It's all about growing. Ah, uh, yes, flowers. Flowers? Did someone say flowers? <laughs> I love flowers. Beautiful flowers for a beautiful lady. Milton, they're lovely. Thank you. <laughs> right, mm. that's just what we need for our final Jackson. story. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Here we go, then. <laughs> Don't forget to join in. It's your story, too. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, 
It's a blue cow story. Cool. It's called Blue Cow and the Windmill. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow noticed a new flower growing. It was a tulip. I wonder where that tulip came from. Oh, she's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to the place where tulips come from, please. Here you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for Holland. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. There, in front of her, stretched rows and rows of tulips. What a beautiful field! I wonder who it belongs to. At the end of the field stood the strangest house she'd ever seen. Blue Cow walked up to the strange house and knocked on the door. A mouse appeared. Hello, I'm Mornitz. Hello, Mornitz. What a beautiful field you have here. Thank you, said Mornitz. And what a strange house. It's not a house. It's a windmill. Of course. But Blue Cow didn't really know what a windmill was. Would you like to come and pick some tulips? Oh, yes, please. Good. I'll get a basket. Mornitz disappeared inside the windmill. Blue Cow thought she'd have a closer look at the windmill. What on earth were these pointy things? Wings? Suddenly, there was a gust of wind and the sails began to turn. Blue Cow found herself flying high up into the air. Moo -ah! And then down again. Moo -ah! Round and round she went as the wind blew stronger and stronger. She was beginning to feel a bit sick, but still she went round and round. She called out to a passing bird. Please help! I want to get off! Hang on! Squawked the bird and flew away. Oh dear, said Blue Cow. That was a bit rude. But no sooner had she said that when the bird returned with lots of his friends. They all landed on one sail and the windmill ground to a halt. Oh, thank you, thank you, said Blue Cow as she climbed down wobbly. Just then, Mornitz appeared with a basket. Ready to pick some tulips? Actually, I think it was time I was getting home. Bye-bye, Blue Cow. She's funny getting caught in that windmill. <laughs> yes, you wouldn't catch Milton doing that. No. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. I'm far too cool for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, look, it's the morning's first ray. It's time the story makers were hidden away. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. <laughs> Night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Thanks for helping. Bye, story makers. Mm. See you again soon.